All right, I'm going to look at how to solder Belden 8412 cable to an XLR connector. Uh, first thing is, you're going to get your uh, connector pieces and you want to put the boot on first. Uh, if you forget that, you will regret it. But put the boot on first. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to strip off some of this outer jacket. Now, I usually do this just with a knife. You can use a box cutter or something. I use, I use just my little Swiss Army knife here. And you're gonna just lay the cable on the knife and you're just gonna, using just the weight of the cable, you're just gonna spin it in an effort to kind of score like the jacket, you can kind of see how it's starting to split. And then you're just going to kind of fold it over here and very lightly, I'm not really like cutting, I'm just sort of using the weight of the knife, encouraging this thing to split open. And now I can see that white um, insulation is starting to be visible, so that one's good. So then I'll fold it over in a different spot, do the same thing again. You really don't want to cut into the shield here, so you want to be very, very careful that you don't do that. There you go, that's splitting open. Go the other side. Sometimes you can like use the knife to kind of help pry the pry that little split apart a little bit there. So I'll just go all the way around until I see the insulation exposed. There it is on all sides. And now I can take this off. So I'm just going to use my uh, pliers and I'll just start digging this out. And it'll kind of break apart a little bit, but eventually you'll get a good handle on it. And you can kind of rip it off here. And all that little string is going to come with it. And then you've got this little paper that's between the jacket and the shield, and you can just kind of tear that off. So now you're going to get yourself a pair of scissors, which I just use, again, the ones on the Swiss Army knife here. And we can cut this string off that came with the jacket. All right, so now we're left with this. Uh, and this is what's called the braided shield. Now we need to turn this into a single wire that we can solder into the connector. So we need to unpick this braid uh, and we have to do it ideally without getting it all mixed up with the string and twine that's inside of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like brush at this with my fingertip until I get, can get a handle on a few of those wires from that braid and I'm going to try to separate it away from that string on the inside. And once I get it pulled away a, a little bit, then I can kind of hang on to the string in there. And now I can get my little picks and I can start picking this thing apart. And I'm just going to unbraid this as good as I can. And you can be, you don't have to be delicate with this. You can, you can really go for it. You're not going to mess anything up. Just try not to dig too far down in the braid at one in one swipe. That way you can actually get it open. So I'm going to keep going until I get it all the way unspun here. I'm going to try to go in a little bit underneath the jacket if I can. Uh, let's see if I can get in there a little bit deeper. There we go. There's a little spot there. All right, I think that'll do for now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these little tiny wires and I'm going to try to gather them all together onto one side. So 
sort of like so. You want to kind of give it a good kind of tug, get them all over there. Kind of gather them all and straighten them out here. Try to not have any sticking out here on the other side. So once you've got that, now we can uh, get rid of all this, unpick all this string here, and we can cut that off. And you'll see there's these two things in here which are the wires. You don't want to cut those. So you'll just cut this string all the way down here to the bottom, as far as close as you can, really. Just don't cut the shield. Get all this out, this string out of the way. Got a little bit of string right there. I'll try to get. And I've got one little, I don't know if you can see that. Got one little piece of this shield that kind of got folded up. So I'm going to unpick that and get that into my group. So there we go. Now I got everything cut. Now what I want to do is I want to twist this together. So I'm going to twist this really tight. And you're going to kind of twist and pull to keep it straight. You want a really, really tight twist. Um, it should kind of like, you know, feel like you're going to eventually develop calluses on your fingers from, from this. All right, so now I've got that twisted pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now lay this into my little vise here. And clamp it down. And I need to tin this wire. Uh, and tinning is basically involves soaking it with solder. And I'll show you how this is done. First, I'm going to just test my soldering iron here, make sure it'll take solder, which it will. So now I can kind of clean it. I've got a little uh, copper sponge here that you can use to clean that out. Uh, and then here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set the soldering iron underneath this, this new drain wire I've created and lay it on there to start heating up that wire. And then I'm going to start feeding solder into it. And that solder is going to start getting soaked into the wire. And I'm going to start moving it along here. Still feeding solder as I go, and let it slowly soak in. Try not to let it glob too much. If you see it kind of globbing and getting stuck, just like feed a little, little more solder into it, and, it'll, and then pull the soldering iron, it'll move that bubble. OK. So now, that is going to be one solid wire which I can now use to solder into a connector. Before I do that, uh, I'm going to strip off now these inner uh, wires here. So uh, I'm going to just take about half of this off. OK. And then just twist that in pretty good. And then I'll go and take half of the other one, twist that really good, and then I want to tin those as well. Same process, but it's a lot less wire, so it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay. And we'll go again. There we go. Okay, so uh, now I just got to cut these, and you're going to want to use your uh, flush cutters for this. 
So these, it, on this side of the cutters, you can see that uh, it's kind of a diagonal cut, but on the other side, it's flush, where the, it, where the cut comes together, it, they, they meet flush, and that's the side you want to use to cut. So I'm going to take uh, these, the white and black wire, and I'm going to maybe cut eh, half to two-thirds off of this. So I'm just left with a little small bit of exposed wire. And then this drain wire that I've made, I want to cut that basically to the length of that shortest of the two jackets. I mean, ideally those two jackets would be the same length, I just didn't quite get them exactly. That's fine. So I'm going to cut it about to that point where the white one is. And just cut that off. And if you look in there, let's see, there you can see it. That is now a solid wire because of all that solder I soaked into it. I mean, if I mess with it with my finger, I, don't, I shouldn't have any wires separating out if I've done it right. Okay, so this is now ready to go. Um, so now I just need my connector. So this is uh, the, uh, the inside of that XLR uh, pins connector. And I'm going to, now it, you probably can't see this on the camera, but these are numbered. So over here is pin one, that's pin two, and that's pin three. Now we want to do the white wire to pin two, the black wire to pin three, and then the shield or drain wire to pin one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just put this into my vise, and I need to tin the lugs on this thing. So we're just going to stick our solder wire onto each of these and just melt a bit of solder into there. You don't need to do a ton, but just a little bit so that you, the wire has something to grab onto. There we go. So each of those has a little bit of solder. And now I can connect it up to the connector. So remember, we're doing the white will go here, the black will go there, and then the drain wire or ground will go there. So I'll start with the white. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to lay the soldering iron on the lug, and I'm going to watch for the solder to melt again. And when it melts, then I slide this wire in there all the way up to the jacket, hold for a second, and then release the soldering iron and then hold it in place until that solder cools. And now that's a pretty good joint. Now at this point you're probably going to want to get pliers. So I've got these ones, these bent nose pliers. I like these because they don't have any like serration or anything. And that, so it, sometimes you can mangle the jacket when it gets hot. This way I won't burn my fingers. So I'm going to line up this black wire with pin 3. Same thing. I'm going to lay the soldering iron on here until I see that solder melt again, and then I'll slide this wire in all the way up to the jacket, and release the soldering iron, and hold it in place until the solder cools. Okay, now I gotta get the drain wire in there. And I usually like to just put a little tiny bend into that wire, just to get it to line up a little bit easier. Um, Now I'm going to do the same thing, but this is going to be a much bigger wire, and therefore it's going to be a little harder to slide it in there. I'm going to switch to my pliers that have the little grippers on them, so it won't slide as easy. And same deal. I'm going to lay the soldering iron on the lug, wait for it to heat up and the solder to, to melt, and then I'm going to slide that thing in there, hold it for a second, until it heats up the, the wire, and then I'll, oops, it didn't quite cool. Go back on there, it was, it was sticking up a little bit. There it dropped. And now, I'll hold it in place till it cools. Had a little too much solder on that, um, in that lug, so I'm gonna go in and just, had a little couple of little drops here that are sticking out, so I'm just gonna, and trim those off just to clean this up a little bit. You don't want to risk anything being able to short. So, all right, that is good.
good to go. Now the nice thing is because I cut that um, drain wire a little bit short, shorter than the other ones, you see how the white and the black had to bend just a little bit? That's good because now the drain wire is taking all the strain. Um, and that's a much solider wire and it ultimately spreads out and becomes this shield that encloses the whole thing. And so it's a much better thing to be putting the strain on. So once you get that good to go, then uh, you're gonna take the little strain relief boot and slide this on here. And you're gonna line it up there. There's that little, that little divot in there and it lines up with that little tab. And then you can get the barrel here and slide it in. And you go get your boot that you put on before and twist it on. And there you go. So now you can do the same thing with the uh, socket connector on the other end and uh, you'd have a, a cable that's ready to go and that's, that's going to hold up pretty good.